So that's exactly what they have done, actually. They're giving him a rest, and we've gone on to the first rounds of the under 52 kilos category. Pereira of Mozambique here against Eastern of Australia. Well, big categories, they really are. 72 in the under 66 kilograms, 52 in the under 52 kilograms. Nice that all five continents are represented here. Four countries from Oceania. And I did say yesterday, gives a great chance for some of the smaller countries, uh, judo-wise anyway, um, to win matches at the World Championships. Is she in for the Shimiwaza? Looks like this is going to go underneath the neck here for Easton. Needs to get the leverage now, and Ferreira could be in trouble here. She needs to really stretch her out with the legs. Can she get enough pressure on the neck? Ferreira does well. Well, really, it would be a great achievement for uh, for both of these to go through to the second round of the World Championships. And now looking to turn in for the Sengaku. Just needs to get a little bit more leverage. Look at uh, how supple Ferreira is. Just manages to avoid the Newaza. Well, certainly Easton on top of this, but uh, still no score on the board halfway through the contest. So now Ferreira has to do something. Oh, drops Sienaghi again. Easton has to be careful. She doesn't climb on top of her back there for that Sienaghi. So coach telling her to go forwards, put the pressure on. Certainly, I'd be concentrating on the Newaza side of it. Several times, Ferreira has gone down, leaving her neck exposed. Well, anybody's match, this one. Coming up to the last minute. The number two, the winner in blue for Switzerland, Emily Jones. Now it's Ferreira on the attack. Looking for the Juji Gatami. First round for the women under 52 kilo, and number two. In white for Peru, Brilit Kamara Karbatari. Well, the coach is only allowed to shout advice in between the mates, not when they're actually fighting. So if you do see them. The referees, that is, telling them to quieten down a bit. That's why. Well, Easton looked to, uh, in control of this in the opening part of the contest. Now pretty even.
But looks like we might be seeing our first golden score. So golden score, any score then, bit a penalty or any kind of score from a throw, hold down, arm lock or strangle will win the contest. Five seconds left of normal time. So now the clock will start ticking upwards and as I said, it's a continuation actually. Golden score isn't another part of the contest. It's a continuation of the original four minutes. That's almost a score there. Drops Sianagi there from Easton. Didn't quite get her onto her side. The side has to hit the ground. That won't count. That was a throw off the ground. Well, just waiting for one of them to make a mistake and we'll put the other one through to the second round of the World Championships. 28 seconds in. Did see remarkably, a contest went 11 minutes. Golden score. Oh, look at that. Makakomi there and a nice Makakomi that was from Eastern. And Eastern of Australia will go through. Sort of Makakomi and well, it's those pressure points that really, really count. Both of them were tired. 37 seconds into the uh, golden score. And it means that Easton goes through to fight Miranda of Brazil. Miranda is on the top part of this quarter. Miranda of Brazil, the number two seed. Number one seed, of course, is Melinda Maginda Kelmende of Kosovo and Kelmende is the world and Olympic champion. There's the Makakomi. Rolling again. So just a Wazari given, but uh, Wazari in golden score. Any score was to win the match.